So here are three simple ways to power your next Pi project. So whether or not we're talking the Raspberry Pi 1, the Raspberry Pi 2, the Raspberry Pi 3, or other variants such as the Banana Pi, even the Rose Apple Pi, there are typically three different ways to get power to your project. The most obvious way, the micro USB cable. Your micro USB cable, plug in, and you have five volts going to your Raspberry Pi. The only thing to note there is that the cable that you're using, uh, as I've demonstrated in previous videos, if you take a look at the Raspberry Pi 3 official power supply and a typical micro USB cable, the power, the size of the cable that's uh, able to carry that power to your Pi project does differ. With the Raspberry Pi 1, probably not a big issue, a standard USB cable is probably okay. It did become a little bit more critical with the Raspberry Pi 2 because of additional power requirements, and that's because it's significantly more capable. And that's more critical even now with the Raspberry Pi 3. So the Raspberry Pi 3 uh, Model B uh, requires a fair bit more power, and the official power supply that comes with this is able to provide 5.1 or even 5.2 volts at 2.5 amps to make sure that this is getting enough power. Again, because it's got additional capabilities included on the board. But there are definitely instances and definitely projects that you might be putting together whereby the micro USB cable, poking out as far as it does, might not be uh, a good option for your project and you need to be able to get power to your project in a different way. The second way to get power to your project, again, independent of whether it's any of these pies here, is to be able to use the GPIO pins. So as you can see here on this Raspberry Pi 2, I have already used a little header and attached it to the GPIO pins. Although the pinout is different on the Raspberry Pi 1, you don't have the same 40 pin configuration, you can still power the Raspberry Pi 1 tapping onto these GPIO pins. The exact same holds true for this Rose Apple Pi. Again, a 40 pin configuration. And this Banana Pi Model 1 doesn't have a 40 pin configuration, but you can still get five volt um, positive and or five volt power and ground connections out of these GPIO pins. So that's option number two, whereby you can connect via the GPIO pins of any of these boards. But so what's the third option? Well, as you've probably already seen on the Banana Pi, this one comes with its own separated um, ground and five volt connections. And you can tap onto those on the bottom of the board. So there's a pad, five volt and ground pads on the bottom of the board. You just need to be able to ensure that you're tapping into the correct ones. You do that by connecting power via the USB and then getting out your multimeter and ensuring that one of these is carrying the positive and one of them is the ground and therefore you can actually provide power that way as well. I've done this with this Banana Pi as you can see here. I've also done it a number of times using the Raspberry Pi. So if we look at the Raspberry Pi 3, here is your micro USB connector on the bottom of the Pi. If you plug five volts into that and power the Pi, you'll be able to test that one of these pads is positive. It's typically this front one and one of them is ground and you can solder a wire to those two pads and provide power to your Pi that way. So here I go, plugging five volts USB into my Pi 3. And I test these two pins, two pads. You'll see that I'm getting 4.98 volts. They are the two pads that you can tap into, solder on two wires, as I've done with this Banana Pi. Same approach. Tap on two wires and you can get five volts. So there you have three very quick and easy ways to be able to get five volts into your next Raspberry Pi project, whether it's the uh, one, the two or the three, or any of the uh, other single board computers such as the Rose Apple Pi and the Banana Pi. So thanks very much for joining me and watching the show. Subscribers are always welcome, so feel free to subscribe. That would be great. And I hope you'll join me again next week.